Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about Dale Dog from Main Street Mafia Crip. Dale Dog was born with Dale Rawls in 1965 and grew up in South Central in the Main Street Mafia Crips turf to be exact. He was the sixth of ten kids. The Main Street Mafia Crips started in the 70s and became Crips. They broke up into two cliques, the A4 and the 9A Mafia Crips. Main Streets called their alliance 9A4 to represent both cliques. Del Dog joined the Main Street after his big brother was put on. At around 15 years of age, Del Dog was full fledged in the streets. During this time, he was in and out of jail for various charges like robbery and anything to make some money. The Main Streets beat for several hoods, but always been about their money. And Del Dog was also a dude about his paper. And he also was about putting on for Main Street. Del Dog was always a presence in his hood, a strong figure amongst his little homies to look up to, giving guidance and being a person to look up to and see how you should conduct yourself in the streets and handle business. In the 90s, Dell Dog was known for being a hustler, but he started to break into other ventures starting a car club that was known for their low riders and also low riding around the city. The car club also brought many gang members from other sides together with no incidents. Main color Dell Dog scene was green. He didn't let his hood ties affect his business. He could be seen politicking with many other bloods and crits while he hosted these events. In the 90s as well, Del Dog also started to build connections all throughout the industry. Some big names Del Dog was tied to were people like actor Steve Harvey, rapper Ice Cube, and legendary Laker basketball player Shaq. Steve Harvey's first encounter with Del Dog was Del Dog saving his ass. Steve Harvey basically said some dudes was finna rob him and possibly beat him up, but Del Dog happened to pop up and see what was going on. Del Dog got the dudes off Steve Harvey's back and saved them from the altercation. This led to Steve Harvey's and Del Dog's long friendship. Ice Cube connected to Del Dog in the industry, and Del Dog ended up making his own record label called Four Life Records, putting a lot of his homies on and into the record label. Shaq ended up getting connected to Del Dog through a mutual friend. With Shaq being on the Lakers, they built a good relationship. Del Dog provided protection in the streets and on the industry, and Shaq provided support and money to a lot of Del Dog business ventures. 2009, Del Dog will be in some controversy involving Shaq. So basically, Shaq was introduced to the Main Streets and Del Dog by an affiliate named Robert. Robert had a close association with Shaq and was one of Shaq's business partners. Robert told police that him and Shaq had a business deal, that Shaq cut him out, so he wanted to get even. Robert tried to blackmail Shaq and told Shaq he had a tape of him cheating on his wife. Shaq wasn't cool with this, so just two weeks later, Robert was driving his Rolls Royce in Hollywood. Next thing you know, he was grabbed up by a bunch of Main Street Crips that he knew. From his account, he was then took to Del Dog's house in South Central, which he said he was the leader of the Main Streets. Robert said Del Dog ordered the Main Streets to beat him up and strip him of everything he had. That included 15000 and a bunch of jewelry. Robert went straight to the police after this and told them about Del Dog and Shaq. Shaq was later questioned and said he had nothing to do with the crime. He said he didn't associate with gang members. Shaq said he only had association with the Main Streets through a charity, and that was it. He never had any gang association with them at all. Del Dog and the Main Streets were being attacked by the feds. They didn't do much talking, but they mentioned how Robert was a snitch. In court, Robert was left looking unreliable with his story changing and him also being a gang member and also being in the streets. So it didn't go much further than that, and the charges were dropped. In 2012, Del Dog dropped a documentary called Street Apostle, where he talked about his interests like his music company, his car club, even having Ice Cube and Steve Harvey on the documentary. Also showing the life of Main Street Crips and how Del Dog helped out his hood. Many people in the documentary either went to jail or died. The outcome of many people in the streets. Around three years later, July 8th, 2015, Del Dog was fatally shot around 11.25 p.m. Del Dog got into an altercation with a man, ending in him being shot by a rifle. His funeral brought a lot of people out and everyone had nothing but good to say about him. All the things he did for the community and for the kids and also gang members talking about what he did for them as well. Dead Dog was a big loss for the main streets with his connections and guidance in the streets and overall being a real big homie. This was his story. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.